everyone, I'm Natalie and this is True Mysteries. Welcome to my channel. So I am someone that is looking to help family, friends, people that have disappeared and gone missing to help find their loved ones. I really want to put their faces out there. I want to get their stories out and put out like a remembrance, you know, to, to prove that they are not forgotten. You know, there is people out there still wondering, still want to help these people. So, okay, this is the case of Myra Lewis. So Myra Lewis was born on November the 30th, 2011. She has black hair, brown eyes. She's three foot one, weighing 27 pounds. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $20,000 for information regarding the whereabouts of Myra Lewis. Myra was last seen wearing white or khaki pants, a turquoise sweater with a bay on the front and pink tennis shoes. Myra was two at the time of her disappearance and she was missing from Mississippi. And this was since March the 1st, 2014. She was last seen by family members between 10.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. Playing outside her home in Camden in Mississippi. If there is any information concerning this person to contact Jacksonfield office. Her mother had gone and left to go to a grocery store and told Myra and her sisters to go inside the house where then their father was actually in the home. So they were told to go in with their father. Each parent had thought Myra was with the other one, so no one realised that she was actually missing until 3pm. After looking for her themselves for a hour, Myra's parents had then called the police. A extensive search of the area turned up to no sign of the child. Little information is available in her case. The investigating agencies is Madison County Sheriff's Office and their number is 601-859-2345. Mississippi Highway Patrol and their number is 855-642-5378. The Federal Bureau followed up on 20 credible tips since her disappearance. There was dogs that were helped to try and find Myra. There wasn't any tracking dogs, so it wasn't very successful. Four years after that then, there wasn't any other new leads, but her mother had a run-in with the law. That ended up landing her straight behind bars. Myra's mother, Erica, was arrested for violating her probation and she was accused of being a felon with a firearm and failing to pay any court costs and supervision fees. Erica's husband, Gregory, said that he wasn't even aware that Erica had a welfare fraud conviction on her record. So that is what I could find on Myra. I really hope that people that is in the area where she disappeared on that day, that time, if there's anything they can recollect, that they can remember, seeing anything, hearing anything, seeing anything suspicious, um, to please call in the FBI and let them know. There's nothing worse than having a family member or obviously a child that have disappeared that is no longer to be found. She is in fact still missing to this day and I really want to, you know, bring a fresh new face to her case to help try and find justice, to try and help her, um, that what happened to her, um, where she is, if there's even people out there that's willing to post more flyers up, put more posters up to try and find where she is. Okay then everyone, so I really hope that this video helps 
for her family and friends. I really hope that you find justice and you get to find her. It's nothing worse than losing a loved one and not hearing anything about them. And, you know, just basically being come off the face of the earth very fast, you know, there's nothing worse than that. So I really hope and pray for you every day and I really hope that you find Myra. My love goes out to you all. Let's try and get Myra home. Let's try and put more flyers out, get more searches put in. Um, yeah, let's just get this video out and to put us of remembrance to remember that she is not being left, you know, she's she's not the person that is forgotten, she is still a person, she's still a child, you know, and we need to bring it back to light that she is still missing and she still needs to be found and justice needs to be served. Okay then everyone, I am Natalie and this is Two Mysteries.